One of my old friends got in a motorcycle wreck and lost his foot. He wanted me to make him a prosthetic foot. The old foot was made out of rubber and it disintegrated. I made the foot out of a machinable wax and investment casted it. This is the machinable wax after I carved out the foot. I really like machinable wax. You don't have to mess around with cores or core prints. I'm using this process to make a small Sterling engine. I design. It's really cool. You get a lot of detail and the wax is easy to machine. You can also connect the pieces together without imperfections before you cast. It's already invested, burned out, poured, and casted. The toe pieces are also in there. And here I am trying to take it out of the mold. There's the foot. It couldn't have turned out any better. I didn't quench it in water to explode the plaster out because I didn't want the foot to crack or warp. These are the toe pieces I'm taking out now. It was uh, pretty hard cutting the wax parts. I had to cut open the shoe and uh, keep fitting it in there until it fit right. I had to have it on a certain angle too. Here's the toe pieces in the foot casted. After I got to this point, there were, really wasn't much uh, machining to do. Just a little finishing off and machining. There's the foot cleaned up but not bolted together yet. I had a hard time holding it into the milling vise because I had no flat surfaces. There's the foot all bolted together. There's the foot on the prosthesis. There's the foot with the shoe on it. Shot to get it right. I wasn't sure if the process would work on such a large project. I thought maybe the core wouldn't crush enough and the casting would break. 